Battle ropes are a great upper body and lower body exercise. I'm going to be showing you four different ways of doing battle ropes um, and depending on what your fitness plan asks for, you'll go ahead and do those. But no matter what, all four exercises require you to be in a nice low squat. So your feet will be shoulder width apart, weight will be in the heels, shoulders will be back, chest will be lifted, and hips will be back as well. The first exercise for this battle rope series is single arm. So having the ropes in your hands, you're going to have your hands stretched out long in front of you, bringing your wrists up and slamming it down. So this is not a shoulder exercise. You want to keep your arms far in front of you smacking the ropes down one at a time and the reps will go right hand one, left hand one, right hand two, left hand two, staying nice and low the entire time. The next series is what I call double battle ropes. So you'll be doing the exact same form as you did with the single but you'll be doing both arms at the exact same time. You can have your hands together or separated completely up to you. You want to stay nice and low in that squat, keeping your arms straight in front of you and smacking the wrists down, up and down, not pulling your fingers. The third exercise is what I call side to side. You're going to be creating a triangle, not a, an arch. You're going to bring both the battle ropes up and smack it down to one side, then you'll bring them straight up and smack down to the other side. This is going to be incorporating a lot of the open. The last exercise is what I call circles. So I always try to envision on 4th of July when you were a kid and you had sparklers and you do circles with the sparklers. It's the same idea but with the battle ropes. Staying nice and low, keeping your arms as straight as possible. You're going to make big circles outwards. 